Hello and welcome to internetnextstep.com. I'm going to be taking you through our industry leading software package and today I'm going to showcase how our join button works so that you can see the experience that your new distributors and customers will have when they join your company. What you're seeing right now is a generic homepage. This would be customized with your company's logo and information. You'll see right here at the top that uh, we have English as the default language. We also have Japanese. Our software has a translation interface and you can translate it into any language that you wish. English and Japanese are two main languages for our company. First thing that your new distributor would do would be to enter in a username. This would be what their website would be, their email address and then the country that they're coming from. As you can see, all countries are showcased in the menu here, but through your administrative options, you can only showcase the countries that you are doing business in. Mickey Mouse, would, we'll put him in Beverly Hills, and he's going to place his order as a distributor. The terms and conditions here are for a distributor. If you change to a customer, the terms and conditions would change to reflect the terms and conditions you would have for a customer. You would also be taken to the retail pricing in your shopping cart. As a distributor, you'll be taken to the wholesale pricing. All the terms and conditions are completely editable in your back office. I'm going to type in the CAPTCHA code, which changes every time to prevent robots. And we're going to accept the terms and conditions. Now we need to enter in some personal details. If you want to put in a company name, you can put in a company name here. First name, last name, and mailing address. You'll see because on the previous page we already put in the zip code, United States has been populated, Beverly Hills, California. Just waiting for the street address. If you have a shipping address that is different from the mailing address, you would click here. And then a new drop down box opens up for you to put in your shipping address. Maybe Mickey wants it shipped directly to his Disneyland address in Anaheim, California. And there we go. Contact details a place to put phone number, fax, cell, work. Email address, put in a second time to confirm that it's uh, so there's no mistakes. And a social security number. In the administrative options, you can make the social security number mandatory or optional. Now we go to the password. And we've set it up once again in the administrative options. You can determine how difficult the password will be. In this situation, we've got to set a minimum five characters. One must be numeric, one must be a special character. You can determine how you want your passwords to be. Type in the passwords and a security question. Just to ensure if somebody calls in and needs access or to get a, uh, a password, if they don't use the password retrieval link for some reason, they need to call in, you need to verify they really are the user. We have it set up for a security question. Now this is going to take us into the shopping cart. As you can see right now, two items are already on the shopping cart. These are mandatory items. If you have a distributor kit or a website that must be purchased upon joining, you can set it up so it's already added to the shopping cart and mandatory for them to purchase as a distributor. And you'll see here that we've showcased just a few products. You may have hundreds of products in your shopping cart, but you only want to showcase a few, whether they're a leader pack or a builder pack. This allows you to showcase just a few products. If a customer wants to go in and choose products from your entire shopping cart, they could click to order a product not listed and see all the products that are available in your shopping cart. In your administrative options, you can also set it up that a certain number of points must be purchased in order to be able to continue. So we're going to choose, as most people would when they're showcasing, let's just choose a leader pack and continue. 
Now we're taken to the auto ship package. Once again, you can showcase certain products in your auto ship that you would like people to purchase right off the bat. And let's pick one of those and continue as well. Now we get into the confirmation. If you're not happy with what you purchased, you could edit your initial order and go back and add or take away. You'll see that your auto ship is also set up and what you're purchasing there. And then you're going to select a payment method. Most people will be paying by credit card. They can also pay from their personal account. And we have some other options like a gift certificate or wire transfer. So you can have multiple payment gateways if you wish. But here we've got the credit card and the gift certificate. Make sure you talk to the sales rep about the gift certificate engine and how that could work for your company. Very exciting that your members can actually make a gift certificate from their earnings from their back office and use that gift certificate to sign up new members. You can also have service fees attached to some of the payment methods like wire transfer. They pay for it and their sign up is complete. The welcome letter that they get is emailed to them. It's completely customizable in your back office as well. And an email also goes to the sponsor to let them know that somebody new has joined the company. And that's as easy as it is to get signed up using Internet Next Steps MLM software.